Hello everyone. This is a quick intro to Lanarkey. Lanarkey is a way to combine Langchain and Fast API. So that's a really cool thing to be able to do, I, I think. So there's an example on their page, so pip install at Lanarkey, and then there's this example, which I've just tested out and I'll just show you it working. So um, the other thing I will just quickly show you at the end is how you can see it in the Swagger interface as well. Um, this is the code they provided. I just changed the name of the code to dem1 because it's my demo. So you load your environment variable, which will contain your open AI key, API key. Um, and then it just imports fast API, imports Langchain, or rather it imports conversation chain. There's various different versions that, or different options you can import. From Lanarkey, import Langchain router. Load your environment variables, create a fast API app, which you're probably familiar with if you've used fast API before. If you've not used fast API before, I'll put some links in the video or card up here just to show you a video of that. So you specify forward slash chat, that's the um the endpoint that you'll be hitting to make your query. And yeah. Then we just run it because it's the main file. So this is the code that actually works with Langchain. On the right, I've just done um, a question and a follow-up question to test this out with. So uh, import requests, import JSON from preprint, import preprint. Um, I'm passing in the headers, and then I'm also passing in the question. So the key is input, and then the question, the value is the question. And then we pass that in as JSON data. So we're doing a post request using requests. Um, the URL is the first part, followed by headers equals headers, and then the JSON equals. So it's a standard URL, headers, JSON, Python post request. Um, you'll get back your response, and then you just need to decode it. Otherwise, you'll have the the and the apostrophe, and it just not, doesn't look very clean. So um, you can just see down here, I've already run it. Um, ask that what is the fastest land animal? So it replied with the cheetah, which can reach speeds of 70 miles per hour. And then I said, how heavy is it? So it's got memory because the second question is obviously means nothing by itself. So that's because we, we're using the conversation chain. Um, so if we change this, the beauty of this is that you can build an API or fast API with this, which you could then run on your server, and then you could send um, requests to it from your uh, website, HTML, JavaScript, etc., which could then talk to fast API, which could then handle the Langchain side of things. Because you don't just want to always be doing Langchain in a Jupyter notebook. <laughs> um, you want to, if you want to expose it to the outside world, your project. Um, obviously, a, a chat agent is not anything original, but you can obviously work on that and come up with something very interesting. So, um, yeah, this is kind of an introduction to using Langchain with Fast API. If you're not familiar with Langchain, I've done some other videos. Um, Langchain enables you to basically make a chain of things to do with um, Open API, so you can. Uh, you can chain together tools, um, you can do maths, because obviously the large language model is, is terrible at maths, so then you can go off and write your own functions that do um, mathematics, you can query databases, you can tell it to go off and do um, Google searches. Obviously the um, OpenAI chat GPT doesn't have access to the internet by itself, so you need to just use these tools and agents, which is what Langchain provides you. So that's um, let's just change this then. Then we'll say what's the um, largest. I've got a feeling it's going to say an elephant. Um, okay, we'll do how heavy it is it again as well. So uh, Python three point ten dash m test request. What is the largest land animal? It's the African elephant. African elephant. Elephant, it can weigh up to 1200 pounds, uh, 13 feet, blah, blah, blah. Then the response to the next question was the African ele elephant can weigh up to 
1200 pounds ah so here you see it's it's already actually answered the weight in the information it got on the first question so there was actually no need to ask uh, the second question um let's change that then just to make it more what color is it i've got a feeling it'll say gray is it gray or brown i can't remember it's gray yeah it's spelt gray in the american way apologies for that anyone in the uk but there we go right so that's that's a quick demo of Lanarkey with Langchain, Fast API. So it's combining three really useful, good tools. Um, let's just look at it in the Swagger interface. So there we go. What you've actually got here is the Fast API, Open AI, sorry, Open API interface. And it's got just one endpoint, which is, um, in fact, let me get rid of that. And then we'll just go, this is what you would find if you just went to uh, 127.001, 5000 docs. So you'd just be presented with, um, let me collapse all that. There we go. That's what you'd be presented with to start with. So to test it out, as always, go to post. Say you want to try it out. Request body. So input, you leave. And then string, you can, that's what you modify because that's actually going to be your question to open AI chat GPT. And then you would just say, um, what is the lowest temperature on Earth? Um, it's quite ambiguous, really. It's minus 273, but if it, it might... Yeah, there we go. The lowest... So there we go. Even just using the open API Swagger interface, we've been able to make our test. So... And again, because it's converted it to an API, we could do it with curl, we can do it with Python requests, you could do it, you could query it with JavaScript. So this is the beauty of it, because then you can turn it into a website and so on. So um, obviously, then you get into the question of charging, which goes back to my other video, which is talking about lightning payments. So if you've not heard about L402, um, L402 is the 402 in L402 relates to the IETF reserved uh, status code. So a bit like 404, you've actually got 402. The 402 status code is for payment required. Um, so that's just wrapping up about Lanarkey. And I'll just quickly cover, um, there's a thing called WebLN, which is um, basically it's um, an abstraction layer, which allows you to um, leverage Full potential of your connected node. You don't have to have your own Lightning node. So Lightning node runs on top of Bitcoin, but there are providers now. So um, you don't have to run your own node or anything. And then you have a little wallet in the top corner. That's a, just a, a browser extension. Um, and then if you can get some Satoshis from somewhere, you can get them from uh, many forums. If you put a post on there, people will give you tips. If you've got a a wallet, you can fund it from buying Bitcoin. Um, you can earn Satoshi. So a Satoshi is a, a micro, it's a one ten millionth of a Bitcoin because a Bitcoin is obviously quite expensive or <laughs> in dollar terms, it's expensive. Um, everything's relative, isn't it? But there we go. So then we've got, um, let me just show you this. So this is what I'm currently working on, just a little side project. And what it's doing is, so this is hosted on WebDoc, which is the hosting company I use, really recommend them. I've got a Linux VPS uh, running in the background. It's running Nginx. Nginx is hosting um, index.html and um, scripts.js. So when I click this, <laughs> you get some confetti. But what it's actually done is this, it's actually gone via um, I'll be who are the the um I'll be dot get I'll be dot com. So they actually provide that wallet that you just saw. So they they've written the extension for that. And you can just install that browser wallet. That's free. Um and if I want to send some Satoshi, so actually you could just saw I've got some funds in my wallet, not a great amount. Um yeah, I've only got 45 sats left, which is about one P. 
Um, and then the idea is, um, if you go to 20uno.net, you'll see there's some examples where you can um, request payment for people to scroll further down the page. So if you were an author, writer, creator, you wanted to just get some reward for your work, as they scroll down, they would then get, um, what I'll show you now, this would pop up. And then it would be basically saying, if you want to keep scrolling down, then just send this really small micropayment. So as you can see, 21 sats is approximately $0.01. Um, so I'm just going to approve the payment, click confirm. Takes a few takes a few seconds, but it's, um, I think it depends on the amount. I think if you send a bit more, it might go through quicker. I mean, sending 1p is really, it's not, it's not very kind to the, the the Lightning Network, really, because everyone is incurring fees and just to, to send one p, and then they're getting a fraction of of that. Um, so this is actually a lot slower than it was the other day, but say so I think it's just because I'm sending one pence electronically. I haven't tried it with larger amounts because I'm too poor. <laughs> you can actually, and you've got an Albi uh, wallet, you can actually send me, um, go Albi there, send sats, and then this pops up, and then you can send me 100 sats, which is 3p, and um, oh yeah, the, the micro payment's just gone through, I've just got, um, ah, we missed the, um, <laughs> we, we missed the, Yeah, you see it's green there. So let's just go up and check. Uh, send. Oh. I need to refresh that. That's not showing up in my transactions. I don't know why that is. Uh, that's um. Hmm. See your transactions. Those are sites that I've been obviously doing exchanges with. Uh, no, we don't want that. Um, I don't know the answer to that. That's um. That's a bit of a mystery, but. Anyone knows? The transaction definitely went through though. So, um, and then the other thing you can do is make an invoice. So, some things um, are better if you make an invoice, uh, and then you can put a message. So you could put um, payments um, from. So because if you just there's different. There's different API calls, and if you just use the send the send sats, um, the recipient wouldn't know who the payment's from. They'd still get it. And there you see um, payment requests. Ah, oh, hash. Don't know what that is yet, but we'll find out in due course. So there you go. That's um, just a quick little mention about um. Oh, uh, I think maybe that was in the background all the time. There we go. I think it's because I've got too many windows open. So, yeah, so micropayments. So micropayments, um, so micropayments equal, use the Lightning Network. The Lightning Network uses the Bitcoin Network. So, um, yeah, it's nothing to be scared of. It's nothing that's going <laughs> to end the world. It's really good. It works really well. It's really cheap. The fees are really low. And it will be integrating with Langchain and L402 micropayments are the future. So, yeah, Langchain, Lanarkey, Fast API. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.